Hey guys. So do you think only the strong survive? I used to think like that. I did. And I think I'm a strong person. I really do. But I started thinking and I started listening to people who are a little bit wiser than me and um, start thinking about water. And water is soft, right? Uh, we bathe in it. We, we relax in it. You know, it's cleansing, like it's soft. Um, but it's also fucking strong as all hell. It's the strongest thing on this planet. I will fight you on that. It's the strongest thing on this planet. Um, think about it. If you take a hammer and you hit the surface of the water with it, it doesn't hurt the water at all. Not one bit. But if you take the same hammer and you start hitting a rock, right? No matter how big or strong the rock is, eventually you'll start chipping away at that rock with that hammer. Water is strong. Matter of fact, if you take that same rock and you fucking throw it in the water, the water is like, okay, and it just fucking swallows it whole like a beast. <laughs> and eventually the water will keep moving over the rock and it will wear the rock down. You can be soft and strong at the same time. <laughs> Humans are like that too. Our emotions are like that. You can be soft and strong at the same time. Being kind doesn't mean that you're naive, okay? Um, it doesn't. And when you're soft and strong at the same time, that's being emotionally flexible. And they've studied it and they found that people who are able to be emotionally flexible, okay, will often live to be 100 years old. And I'm not talking no frail, like laying in bed, just kill me now, 100 years old. I'm talking like badass fucking grandma fucking zip lining through the forest, 100 years old. Like, <laughs> so water. I, I know I've got some time to make up, right? My emotional flexibility was a little lacking for quite some time. You can ask anybody who used to know me. But I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on my way to that badass 100. I hope I see you there. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.